This is James Spencer for Spencer Music and Artist Development. Today in our class on film composers, we are going to be looking at the composer Elmer Bernstein. Again, pronounce Bernstein, not Bernstein. So it's Leonard Bernstein, Elmer Bernstein. And Elmer Bernstein is one of the most prolific uh, composers out there. He did over 200 movies spanning over a 50-year period. He also wrote two musicals we'll be looking at. And uh, he won uh, one Oscar for Best Musical Score for Thoroughly Modern Millie in 1967, which is also a musical, starred Julie Andrews, co-starred uh, Carol Channing and Mary Tyler Moore. He was nominated in his career for 14 Oscars. He also won two Golden Globes and an Emmy and was nominated for two Grammy Awards. So pretty amazing gentleman. Uh, he was born uh, April 4th, 1922 in New York City to Russian Jewish uh, immigrants. Uh, actually, his mother was Russian Jewish and his father was Austrian, excuse me there, Edward Bernstein was his father. And uh, during his childhood, he, you know, he was already working professionally as a singer and dancer and doing shows around New York and studying classical piano with uh, a teacher from Juilliard named Henriette, uh, Henriette Michelson. So, you know, he showed great promise as a child and was already composing and performing uh, from a very early age um, and so forth. So, through uh, Bernstein's life, uh, we're going to start looking now at his movies and there are so many what I'm going to try to do is pull up his filmography here it is here and just go through some of the high points because again there's over 200 films okay so he really starts composing for Hollywood uh, his first movie was called Saturday's Hero in 51 and we get um, you know, movies in several genres, and uh, we get Sudden Fear, which was 1952. That's one of my favorite Joan Crawford film noirs. Uh, we get The Man with the Golden Arm in 1955, which he uh, was nominated for Best Score for. That movie starred Frank Sinatra. Um, we get him um, doing, uh, the, one of his big works was The Ten Commandments in 1956. It should be noted that Elmer Bernstein was at his best in these big, giant, kind of epic style movies, historical movies. So Ten Commandments is definitely a movie you want to look at. And uh, that's Char uh, Charlton Heston. Uh, he did some, uh, he did Drango, 57. Sweet Smell of Success, also 57. Um, take a look here. The Magnificent Seven in 1960, which he uh, was nominated for an Academy Award for. Okay. Um, Summer and Smoke in 61, which he was also nominated for an Academy Award. To Kill a, Bo uh, a Mockingbird, a uh, 62 Academy Award uh, nomination, Golden Globe winner for that movie. Um, let's see, there's just so many movies here. I'm trying to pull some of the best ones. Return of the Seven, 1966. Thoroughly Modern Millie, we talked about, uh, winning uh, Best Score. Hawaii, 1966, one of my favorite movies he did. Uh, definitely. Uh, was Take a good look at that score. Um, Guns of the Magnificent Seven in 69. Okay, that brings us up to the 70s. In the 70s on, uh, he changes gears in his style of writing. We get everything from like Animal House, 78, to Airplane, 1980, Meatballs, 1979, The Blues Brothers, 1980. Um, you know, and then uh, we get, let's see, uh, Ghostbusters 84, that was a big movie. Uh, we get, let's see, let's see. The, oh, the adaptation uh, in 91 for of Cape Fear, that's important. We get 
uh, The Age of Innocence in 93. So you can see how, how long his career is, you know, we're already up to the 90s now. And Lost in Yonkers, 93. Uh, the Cemetery Club, 93. The Good Son, 93. That's a really great movie with Macaulay Culkin, uh, sort of a also kind of a suspense noir thing. And um, there we go. That's 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 good enough. Okay. Uh, he uh, spent his last days living out his life privately in Santa Barbara. And what you should... Oh, let's talk a little bit about his musicals, too, for Broadway. He scored How Now Dow Jones in 67. And uh, he was co-nominated for that musical, for Best Musical of that year. And he also did Merlin... Uh, in 1982-83 season, okay, for Broadway. So um, what you really want to know about Elmer Bernstein is, again, the, you know, this ability to adapt, the ability to do big, huge, epic-type movies, and um, the ability to pull from, a, how do I describe this, from themes from around the world, like uh, using... Um, for example, things that sound Egyptian and exotic in Ten Commandments. Uh, having a sweeping, almost exotica-style score for Hawaii. Um, you know, being able to write great suspense music for movies like Sudden Fear, all the way up, that was in the 50s, all the way up to something like The Good Son in 93, and still being able to make that modern for modern audiences. So that's a little bit about Elmer Bernstein. Thanks for being with me today, and we'll continue next week.